Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, Me Through Your Eyes. I am Charmaine and I am about to do a tutorial for my Tex Lax hair and how I wash it. Um, I'm just going to take you through each step and let you know what methods and products work for my high porosity hair. So let's um, get to it. I am now mixing my pre-poo which is Athergy 2 minute reconstructor which is a protein conditioner with extra virgin coconut oil and grapeseed oil. I'm now going to apply the conditioner to my hair. I work in sections applying to the ends of my hair as it is the oldest so it needs to look a lot more TLC and then work my way up. I'll apply to the perimeter of that section and then work in sections, in smaller sections and apply the conditioner to my roots. I apply um, the conditioner to my hair whilst it's dry because it will be more absorbent so it will take in the product a lot better. So I apply it onto dry hair which hasn't been washed or it hasn't touched any water at all and so it will be more like a sponge and it will soak up everything that I, I apply to it. Right, so now I have applied all of my conditioner all over my head and pinned it up on top. You can see, so I'm going to go under my steamer for 15 minutes. Here I am rinsing out my pre-poo, leaving my hair in halves to reduce the tangles. It makes it a lot easier to apply product. Now I'm going to shampoo my hair. In my water bottle, I have three squirts of shampoo and that reduces the harshness of the shampoo and I use my finger pads to rub that shampoo into my scalp. Right, so I am about to apply my conditioner. My hair is still in halves. Here I'm mixing my conditioner, which consists of a hair veda conditioner, which is two scoops and one scoop of tea gin honey mask with a teaspoon of olive oil, avocado oil, wheat germ oil, and coconut oil and grapeseed oil. Here now I am doing the same process as my pre-poo, applying conditioner to each section, applying to the roots and making sure that I baby my ends and apply um, a substantial amount to the ends of my hair, working my way up. Right, so I've applied my conditioner so I'm gonna go onto the steamer now for 25 minutes. I am back now from t-shirt drying. It's taken up a lot of water. I, I, I did it a bit longer than normal. I usually do it for half an hour to 45 minutes. Um, this has got aloe vera in it. As my hair's high porosity, it helps it to lower the, um, the pH, which means it will be able to retain moisture better. Here I'm applying my leave-ins, which are in a particular order, starting with the spray, going onto the cream and then onto the oil but in this case on wash days I use a serum as I really love the serum and it gives me great slip it makes it easy to detangle my hair when I then go on to detangle with my wide tooth comb as you can see I work in sections the same sections that I have done in an earlier part of the video 
So um, I'll work on this section and then completely finish my head. The reason why I do the LCO method is because of my high porosity hair. The liquid, I tend to use anything aloe based. So I'd either use aloe juice, pure aloe juice, or this aloe vera spray. Aloe vera has a low pH, which will allow my hair to retain moisture more. Anything with a low pH for high porosity hair is a good thing. I then go on to cream. Um, I've been using this leave-in for a little while now and it's actually pretty good it's thick and um, it has good slip which basically means it can detangle very well and then onto my serum which will seal everything in So now I've applied all my leave-ins, so I will leave it in a scarf for the rest of the day. So, just make sure my hair is going back. Right, so that's the end of the video. This is my full wash day in its entirety. Um, I will be leaving my hair in a scarf until tonight, where I will um, eventually moisturise and seal it and then style it if I want to. So, um, yep, that's everything. So if you'd like to comment, subscribe, and like down below. Um, if you want to add anything anywhere, if you have any questions, please do let me know. And I will see you next time.